Hello everyone, myself Diksha Shandil from Biotechnica and today we are going to discuss about how confidently you can prepare for the GATE Biotechnology examination that is coming in February 2023 with effectivity in this last month that is in the month of January. How well effectively you can prepare for the examination if you haven't started preparing for the examination yet or if you have prepared for the examination but you want to boost your preference preparation with more strategy as well as tips. So here I will be discussing about uh, preparation strategy so that you can confidently prepare for the GATE BT examination 2023 in this last month. So before starting this video, I'll just suggest all of the aspirants who are going to give GATE 2023 examination that you shouldn't panic that you have just one month and in that order to uh, you're panicking, you are uh, ruining your preparation by getting, uh, you know, negative thoughts in your mind and by not effectively studying what you have to study. So if that has happened, leave that, uh, chuck that, leave that aside and only thing that you have to keep in your mind now is to utilize this one month this leftover one month so that at least you can make a better score even if you haven't started preparing so now since we have one month you can't start everything you can't study everything so the first thing that you have to do in order to prepare well in this one month is that you have to understand the fundamentals so understanding the fundamentals suggests that you should know about the examination very well and you should know the fundamental requirement of the gate examination okay so you should know what exactly they want from you you so for that you have to know the pattern of the examination very much important know the pattern of the examination what is the pattern of the examination what are the sets of questions that is asked what is the marks distribution you should always know about the pattern of examination before approaching any examination you can't turn blindly and you, are, you can't hit blindly the uh, blindly the questions and then you are getting uh, very less score you shouldn't do that you should always know the pattern of the examination the second most important point is focus on MSQ and NAT questions since the MSQ and the NAT questions are scoring once you should focus on MSQ and the NAT questions because two things will happen if you only focus on the M MCQ questions. The first thing that they have, the MCQ questions has negative marking. If you're focusing only on MCQ questions, chances are high that you might get any question wrong if you are attempting that question with not much of a surety. So you should always uh, uh, focus on MSQ and NAT question because they don't have any negative marking. So you can effectively attempt those questions. The second point of att 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 attempting only MCQs are that if you are attempting only MCQs, then in that case, what is happening, you are not able to score well because most of the question, uh, students who attempt the question will always find it easy to attempt all the MCQs. So you should focus on the MSQ and NAT question and also it's very tricky to solve the MSQ and NAT question because one option if you attempt wrong in MSQ your question will be wrong and for the NAT also if any one decimal point also if you missed your question will be answer will be wrong so for that you should make strategy so that you can effectively better in a better way boost your score for MSQs and the NAT question that comes in the gate biotechnology examination. The third point that you should do is get well aware of the scientific calculator. Once you sit in the examination, the scientific calculator is the one which will always help you to boost your score because that will save your time and you, with precise calculation. So you should know how to use scientific calculator. Many students, they don't know how to calculate log anti log values. I'm repeating this, many students though don't know. So if you are not understanding it, if you don't know how to use the log values, how to use anti-log values, how to use sine cos values, how to put that and how to get a result because one only command you put wrong, the answer will be wrong. So you should get well aware of the scientific calculator. You should go to the website of the IIT, you can go for mock test and there you will find a scientific calculator. Practice on it. Practice any question on it and then see how it works. Okay. So get well aware of the scientific calculator and avoid negative marking because it's really important. The questions will be and less of uh, MCQs, there will be MSQs and NAT questions also. So if you are attempting MCQs, you should always avoid negative marking because the question will be like you can attempt those questions. In order to make uh, attempt those questions which are having even 60% assurity, you will end up getting your marks deducted and ultimately your scores will be low. So you should always in any of the exam, be it IIT, JAM, be it GATE, always avoid negative marking because negative marking is the something which will always 
put your score down definitely it will put your score down in all the examination that is conducted by iits because you will feel the question is very easy you will attempt in order to solve the question the question will be not lengthy so when we see that the question are not lengthy like this the csr examination we think of attempting the question even we feel that we are 70 percent sure of it no don't do that always try to avoid negative marking in order to score well because the chances of your msq and nat getting selected getting wrong and selected is very less if you're not having a right strategy so avoid negative marking only attempt those questions which are having you are having 80 and more uh, 80 percent and more than surety always attempt those questions always attempt the question which are having higher ma like chances of getting right so you should always avoid negative marking the second point that you should always keep in mind is thoroughly check the syllabus you can download the gate syllabus by the uh, like the gate website you can go to any coaching website also where you can download the gate syllabus thoroughly check the syllabus now you have one month time only you want to know what are the just want you should take from the syllabus so that you can uh, like put your maximum effort in solving those questions and attempting those uh, concepts so it's important for you so you can mark the subject that you want to prepare now you have all the syllabus and you can't study everything in this one month so you can mark the subjects that you want to prepare only the subjects that you feel you're comfortable preparing with the subjects that are important for you see uh, like for the gate examination you can mark the subjects that you want to prepare also what you can do is you can highlight the important points from the spare units let's say you have marked some uh, subject like biochemistry rdt you didn't mark uh, cell biology so you can think that cell biology some of the units if you can't uh, if you some of the topics if you can cover so you can always highlight those important points if they are important uh, to be asked in the gate examination highlight them and if you have time you can always study them don't go for any difficult topics but always go for the topics that are important and then you can sp like uh, prepare in the spare amount of time so mark the subject that you want to prepare and highlight the important topics or topics or points from the spare units the next thing that you can do is put emphasis upon bioprocess technology the whole idea of getting a higher marks in the field of gate biotechnology division it's very important for you to put emphasis upon bioprocess process technology so if even if you have one month and you want to prepare for bioprocess technology it's okay you can go to pyqs only only solve pyqs no need to go for any question any sample question don't do that now you have one month solve all the pyqs of bioprocess technology ultimately you will at least solve five to six questions from bioprocess technology i am giving you a guarantee put emphasis upon bioprocess technology and solve questions from the previous year also cover less but whole i'm not asking you to cover everything because you have one month time but cover less cover less uh, the topics but whole everything you should be well aware of even if you're taking one topic you should know each and every insights of the topic so cover less but whole that is a main idea regarding make understanding the syllabus and thoroughly checking the syllabus third point that you can do is avoid difficult topics now you have one month preparation time you don't want to waste your time in a, like uh, mugging up concepts related to different uh, difficult topics you don't have to do that never try to touch a new topic a difficult topic if that is not important or even if it is important if it is difficult for you to study in this one month of time avoid that that will ultimately uh, lower your score and you will end up getting confused regarding the concepts that you already know so avoid difficult topics and for that study important topics only study the important topics even if it is a bit difficult you think you can complete in one month study important topics definitely don't select new topics now new topics if you are selecting okay i am studying important topics i have covered the syllabus that i have highlighted now i can go for new topics also i can i might get some good marks no don't select new topics because new topics you won't be able to understand everything until unless you don't have you have any bit of exposure about that topic if you have no idea about the topic leave that leave that topic better you go for the topic that you have learned and better you revise them then don't select new topics and don't study everything in order to like uh, gain your uh, good score and good rank don't try to study everything i have mentioned leave it leave it because you have to cover less what is the strategy you have to cover less but whole you don't have to study everything you have to study them with maximum efficacy where you have to cover the most important as well as the topics that you are you can easily cover because you have less time 
and we consider different top difficult topics let's say if you are taking a chance of making a, like a like a uh, studying a difficult topic because you are thinking it's very important for the examination point of view okay you can start with it but if you are thinking if you are wasting if you are thinking or wasting a lot of time still you are not getting benefited still you are not able to solve the questions leave that topic leave that topic because you won't be able to understand in that one month time and then you will get confused also if you think that it's really important you can't skip that topic it's difficult but it's it's really important some topics are like that also it's really difficult but really important do one thing go for pyq go for and solve five year question it will definitely help you go and solve five year question of those difficult topics at least one two questions you will ultimately solve so reconsider difficult topics or you can go to solve the pyq the fourth point is cite best resources now you have one month of time don't go and brag all the resources long textbooks and reference books don't go for that cite the best resources that will effectively aid your preparation in this one month for that the first thing that you can do is use instant notes now you have very really less of time if you have prepared instant notes if your senior has any notes if you can uh, purchase a ready made note go for it use instant notes only now you have to only use instant notes you have to only know about the uh, the concepts and you have to practice questions so use instant notes and refer to e learning you refer to youtube channels which you prefer refer to e learning because e learning will help you in grasping a lot of concept in less amount of time use coaching materials if you have uh, taken any coaching for gate if your friend has taken any coaching for gate they will always have a precise and concise syllabus and the notes also so use coaching materials it's fine for you for one month use easy reference book even you are thinking of using a reference book if you want to study from a reference book don't you use a standard reference book like bruce alberts like leninja don't go for that use easy easy reference book if of any author that you find is easy for you which is very light weighted uh, like book which is not like uh, thousands of pages you can uh, use uh, any re easy reference book and you can study from that book now this is about the citing the best resources for you the next point is solve mathematics since gate biotechnology comes with a portion of engineering mathematics also many students skip that part because they are from biology background and they feel that they can't uh, solve the question so if they waste time solving the question they will not be able to score don't do that even if you have one month time some of the topics of mathematics are so easy that you can learn in two days so solve the mathematics portion only i'm repeating only of those concern easy topics don't go and sit for solving the whole mathematics the engineering mathematics syllabus don't go because you won't be able to do if you have to score better in one month you, if you are thinking of you know keeping some of the score side so that even if you can't attempt the biology questions you want to boost your score by solving some of the engineering mathematics question you try solving the some of the question that are always uh, asked in uh, like uh, gate pt examination some questions are regularly asked and if you know some questions you can definitely solve those question even if you have no idea about it prefer you know some basic tricks you can ask your seniors for help you can solve those questions so don't mug up on everything don't you don't have to study the whole syllabus solve important topics important topics that is calculus important matrix questions some of the important topics like log log values you can always uh, go for some important topics even if you solve two three important topics some of the question the question if that, that question comes Uh, linear algebra if the question comes you will be able to solve it exactly you will be able to solve it and for that you have to practice pyq related to it so as to know which topics are important go for five year pyq and see what are mathematics questions are coming and see in the trend of a question go to any youtube channel see how they are solving the question how you can solve the questions what is the steps of solving those numericals and uh, those mathematical questions and then you can uh, take two three topics only which you can uh, solve in this it will take a one a one week or two week is important it's okay for you if you take one week or two week also for solving those questions you will at least solve those question um, in that amount of time during the examination it's better because it will boost your score because at least you will have basic knowledge about mathematics addition subtraction you will know na so you can solve those questions so always uh solve mathematical questions that are being asked every year in the examination because chances are that you might not be able to solve bioprocess question it would if it comes twisted you might not be able to solve you might not be able to solve the cell biology question even if you have studied all the cell biology topics might be happen a situation like this so always keep a spare score in your mind so that if you can 
you're not able to solve or if any case uh, your msq gets wrong so you don't know na so if that case happens solve mathematics some of the portions of uh, portions of mathematics so that your score will be balanced okay the sixth point is go for pyqs the basic mantra of gate is go for pyq the examination pattern is such if you study the pyq if you study the concepts that are asked in the pyq you will at least you will qualify the examination even you study for 15 days so it's mandatory to for you to go for pyqs you can solve questions from each unit each unit that is given you can solve questions from each unit of the gate syllabus follow a 10 year trend where you will be solving the questions from the past 10 year of the gate biotechnology examination and see the question distribution you can see the question distribution how many questions are being asked from cell biology how many questions are being asked from, from bioprocess technology that's why the questions from bioprocess technology comes a lot how many questions are being asked from rdt see the question distribution what are the topics that are important or cloning is important or vector is important or um, what numericals are important what is important in uh, bioprocess technology what is important in immunology you should know about the question distribution by looking over the 10 year trend and you can make the formula chart for the pyq what say what what does it mean is you have following 10 year question you have you have solved 10 year question so note down the formulas every formula that came in between while you were solving the 10 year question so every formula that was applied in solving the 10 year question note down all those formulas at least among those formulas 15 questions will be directly from the formulas so even if the question is twisted the formula will be applicable so note down the formula make a formula chart based on the previous year question that you have solved because you have less time you can do this that definitely you can do this you can make a formula chart from the pyq mentioned this is for the previous year question then the next part that you can do is practice mock series now you can go to the iit website where you can get website to where you can solve mock paper online you can pra practice uh, sample paper also if you have any uh, offline sample paper of arihant or somewhere you can practice sample paper also you can practice example questions also if you are studying if you have studied from a reference book or if you are using any coaching material you can practice example questions also that has mentioned or in a pathfinder everywhere there are example questions always solve that example questions and then the last thing that is important is time management. management you have a very less of time where you have to score really well and you have to prepare accordingly for that you have to effectively manage your time that means that you shouldn't try to grasp everything and uh, like what you have to do is that you have to revise what already you have studied so don't try to grasp everything and only revise the topics that you have studied for now leave everything else now is revise what you have already studied because revision multiple revision will help you retain those concepts in your mind now avoid newer topics again you have you should avoid new new topics you should avoid uh, of, like it in the case if it is important then you can think of you know solving the questions you can think of uh, uh, like uh, solving the questions related to the difficult topics important topics but if you feel you are stuck leave that leave that topic avoid all the newer topics okay and then the last point is don't waste your time on one type of section it is waste sorry for this typo don't waste your time in just one type of section so these are the 10 strategies which you can follow to uh, like for your last one month preparation for the gate biotechnology examination so the last thing that as well i was mentioning is that you shouldn't grasp any everything and you shouldn't waste your time wasting your time means that you shouldn't uh, think of studying newer topics and then you shouldn't waste your time upon one type of section one type of section it means that you should not think only about solving mcqs only about some solving msqs or only about solving one type of question you should always think of solving the maximum question that is there you, you should always think of solving the maximum questions from each sections usually each sections is in, section is important so you should the question will be mixed it, it won't be like section a section b section b the questions will be mixed so you can you should plan accordingly that you are well uh, uh, like able to solve the mcqs questions also msq questions also and nat questions also so your distribution should be such like you are putting emphasis upon each the, of the section so if the questions comes even if you try to balance even if you, you can balance between the msq mcq and nat your scores will be definitely good so these were the top 10 uh, confident 
to be confident tips for the students who want to prepare for gate by technology in the last one month i wish you all the best for the upcoming examination i know you all will do well so the first thing and the last thing that i'll tell you don't get panic don't think negative and just try to take the maximum out of the time that you have been given january is there you can take the maximum out of it even if you uh, haven't studied anything just follow this 10 thing things and then try to you know uh, be hard working at least for this one month definitely you will score good thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt anything you can please comment on the comment section below thank you